As expected, the live streamers for the 1776 Restoration Movement quickly deleted their VODs when it came to the medical misinformation speaker. But this should still be up for you all to enjoy. You see, they decide to have people speak about why they're there. And honestly, it's quite enlightening and I fully, fully recommend you go and watch it from one of the streamers and just enjoy the insanity for yourself. But a quick rundown and we'll start with the orange shirt. The orange shirt is the first one they had speak. So why is she here? She doesn't know. Um, and she doesn't know what they'll do on July 4th, but Jesus. That literally sums up her entire thing. It's just she doesn't really know. She's just going with the flow. And then we have the woman in the pink. She complained about RVs and prices. But we can kind of lump her in with the man because they're married. You see, the man... Uh, he sold RVs, and that business went down due to COVID restrictions between the U.S. and Canada. So, he decided to join the people that were helped continuing the restrictions because they refused to get vaccinated and follow simple orders. Uh, he complains about $9 for a pound of bacon and gets real mad about it. it no one seems to know where that price is coming from. He talks about how they're both deeply religious. And how his boss told him not to come, said he would end up on a terrorist list. And he said, well, you know what? Consider me a terrorist. And the crowd cheered and people agreed to put them on the list too. What a time. Then we have the woman, the next woman. She's a local. Now, what does she do with her time? I'll give you a second, let you guess. Oh yeah, she prays and spends time on Telegram. Now, what woke her up, she said, was a book called The Killing of Uncle Sam. And she believes that Trump went up on stage and said it wasn't a pandemic to make a stand against the deep state and the Illuminati. Those are her words. Swear. Watch the video yourself. It's on all the streamers' channels. And she admits at the end of her speech, they don't do a lot in the 1776 restoration movement. This kind of exists. Then we have the last guy, and it's just, you know, voices in your head. He says that the Holy Spirit talked to him and told him to not get vaccinated. And the Holy Spirit sent him to the convoy, and that he's going to be there to the end. That's an actual segment that happened. We had the deep state, the Illuminati, bacon prices, terrorist lists, and of course, hearing voices in their heads kind of what you'd expect out of a convoy group but of course now they're not a convoy remember santa wants them to be considered a movement because they don't have truckers pretty much at all anymore 